A tragic end to an afternoon of flying in the lush green farmland surrounding the Gympie Aerodrome. We were on our veranda about to have a cuppa when we heard this almighty bang. The wreckage of a glider and an ultralight aircraft now strewn across the paddocks at Kaibong, about 200 metres apart. Neighbours watched in horror as events unfolded. We saw two aircraft spiralling out of the cloud to the ground. You immediately know it's not good. Emergency crews were called, but there were no survivors. Each aircraft likely have had a single male occupant and both males are, are deceased. Police say the glider took off from the Aero Club, but it's not clear if the other aircraft did too. Investigators are working to confirm the identity of the two men and notify their next of kin. We will be looking into the possibility that there was a collision mid-air, uh, but it's very early days and we're really not sure. Yet even at this early stage, it's clear this accident will have a devastating effect on the pilot's families, their friends and the tight-knit flying community in this region. This is a tragic incident uh, and uh, quite a, a graphic scene left there uh, for the, all the emergency services and those who have responded and for the witnesses. The Australian Transport Safety Bureau has also been notified. Jessica Ross, ABC News, Gympie. Well, let's go live to Jessica Ross at the Gympie Aero Club. Jess, what happens now? Jess, police will guard the scene overnight and the wreckage from these two planes will remain in place as this investigation is carried out. Forensic police will likely be joined by officers from the Australian Transport Safety Bureau tomorrow. Police have already spoken to a number of witnesses, but they are urging anyone who may have seen these planes just prior to the crash to come forward as they try to piece together the events that led up to this tragedy, Jess.